All right, let's try to make this quick. This morning, somebody asked me about how to uh, bring morphs over uh, for a character in the iClone, uh, the actual body morphs and things. And I think I think Real Illusion has a good tutorial on this, but it's pretty simple, and so I thought I would show you. So here we got a base figure, okay? And so we go here, up to here, file, and we're going to export it. We're going to send the character to iClone. So we go over into iClone, and it's loading this into iClone, the base character. This is just, I think, the default CC3 character. And there it comes in, okay? So now we go back to here, and we apply a morph to this character, okay? So in this particular case, I'm going to make this gal pregnant. <laughs> and uh, no rude comments about that. Uh, so now she's pregnant. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this as an avatar. So I'm going to export this as an avatar. Uh, and this is one of these cooking shows in that I've already done this. So there, there one, there's one out there called Preggy. So I'm going to go ahead and do that anyway. But uh, yes, it's out there. So I saved it as an avatar um, with, you know, whatever. And now we go into uh, to iClone. And we go to here to the Modify tab. And we're here... For some reason, they put it under animation. I guess it makes sense. Morph Creator. So we click on Morph Creator. It's going to bring up Morph Creator. There's Morph Creator. Comes up, hopefully, quickly. I'm trying to do this quickly. <laughs> and there we go. Okay, and so now we're going to create. We're going to actually add a morph. Create a morph. And we're going to use that preggy as our, as our morph. And what's really good about this is not only is it going to load in the morph for the body, but it's going to load the morph in for the clothes. And if you notice her bra, well, her bra probably didn't because her breasts didn't get any bigger, but with which they should have, in my experience. Uh, but but the uh, but the panties got bigger too. So now we have these morphs here here. So if you can see, you can make her pregnant. But also, if you um, if you make her pregnant, you better you had darn well better get her panties to uh, expand or she's going to look pretty bad. Her belly's going to go out. So now we have these morphs in here. They're morphs. So now we can send this. We can update the uh, or send replace morph. But either way, it doesn't matter because the morphs are there. So now they're going over in here. So now we can animate those morphs on the timeline. So now we have morphs for this character. So she can be there. We'll even go close-ups here to show. This is our advanced pregnancy test. And so she goes up to here, and so now we go to Morph Animator, and we apply those morphs. And you can see anything that green means that it's going to animate on there. So there's that, and you notice we have to fix her bottoms. So there, go like that. So now on the timeline, she gets pregnant, okay? So that's basically how, and you can do that with any morph. You can do that with any, any facial morph or any of the other morphs. And if you have clothing that is going to be affected by your morphs, you had better send it over as well uh, in, in that avatar because otherwise it's not going to look right when it expands. Okay, so that's about it, boys and girls. Uh, we'll see you on the forums.